beautiful as waking up to see your face. <laughs> Every morning. Don't you think it's a bit too early for flattery? <laughs> you know, it's not my stock and try to flatter. Especially not you. Mm. Anyway, Mr. Loverboy, no. I'm going to make you breakfast. Oh, I am now? Yes, that's your new name, Loverboy. <laughs> oh. I'm going to make you some breakfast, okay? Breakfast in bed. That's my quiet, please. <laughs> baby, I did it! I did it! Yeah, I did it. You did what? Look at me, baby. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Forgotten what? Today is my wedding day, remember? I cancelled it. I cancelled it. You did what? I cancelled it and all because of you. Now it's you and me. Are you out of your mind? No, baby, I just used it. Look, Cindy, I love you. And don't forget you said you were going to get married to me if I let go of Michelle. Look, Charles, don't even come and lay your woes on my doorstep. You know I can't marry you. What? But, but, but I'm, I left everybody in church. They're all waiting and, and I, I just... Charles, I suggest you get the hell out of here and go and get your bride. Because I'm sure she'll be going crazy looking for you. No, 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 Sixty. Look, you know I love you, okay? You know I love you and I gave up everything for you. Look, you can't do this to me. I'll just die if you do this to me. Honestly. Charles, you have to leave here. My fiance is in there. Fiance. You heard me. Fiance. Oh, fiance. What fiance? What about me? Dear diary, I really don't know where to start from. But I guess I'll have to start from somewhere. As they say, there's a thin line between love and hate. But I didn't quite understand it till it happened to me. Well, I think it would be wise to start this story from the very beginning. It started in a university, the ivory tower of dreams. A place where we all built our dreams, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But as they say, dreams die much faster than they are born. First, there was Gerald, or would I say G-Money, as he was popularly called on campus. The very loud and arrogant son of a minister who felt he was God's gift to women. With money to splash around, every girl on campus was a target for his conquest. But that is not my story. I will tell you how it all started. Yes, young ladies. I hope all is well. Um, yes sir, there's no problem. It's just that um, there were a few things we didn't understand during your lecture and we were hoping if you could enlighten us further. Well, too bad my dear young lady. I believe you're one of those that refuse to buy my handouts. Uh, yes sir. Well, I told all of you to buy and you thought I was joking. Let me tell you something. That is 30% of your assessment. If you like, you buy it. If you like, you don't buy. It's your choice, and so is education. It's just that some of us cannot even afford to fit. Not to talk of being able to afford 4,000 naira for the handouts. Exactly. Let me tell you something, my dear young lady. If you think education is expensive, then try ignorance, which is very, very cheap. Good day, ladies. I'm 
handed through that guy's heart. How can he do that? He's so wicked. 4,000 naira for handouts. Don't blame him. Everything in this world is now PLC. And that's the university system for you. How can they expect us to survive? Come, did you want that? My dear, I can't even think of anything else right now. You had better drift back to Earth. Huh? Bro, I was watching you as you stared at her. Looks like you were floating away from her. Boy, you don't understand, man. See, every time I see that girl, my whole day runs smooth. <laughs> Good, then tell her that I'm dying inside. Ain't you, man? Come on. Maybe I'm just taking my time. But taking your time. Listen, Omi, what of advice? Time waits for no one. Okay? Anyway, I was on my way to the book. Are you coming? Buka? I don't have enough dough on me except you're going to flip the bill. Why not? I'll do that now. You're my homie. What are friends for anyway? It's not to inconvenience one another. Down the road, though. Hi, what's your baby? Can you imagine I just want to fortune me in this school compound? I'm tired. What happened? Can you imagine? I have to pay for almost 50000 dollars just for one handout. What is this? What's it be so expensive? Welcome to the Nigerian University. This is system. so unfair. It is so unfair. But who cares? Certainly not the government. I'm ready to quit school. I'm ready to quit school. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. tired. It's a cross I guess we all have to carry. Yes, a cross I accepted to carry. For goodness sake, I know what my parents are going through. I know what they went to do even pay for this academic session. A whole 15 miserable thousand naira. 15,000 naira for one useless handout that they can't hand out. What will my parents get it from? It's frustrating. I'm tired of them. It's really unfair. I guess I have to go through those. That's a good thing. My sister, you're right. We're all together. See why, man? That girl is bomb. She's got class. She's got style. She's got everything a man would want from a woman, man. In fact, she's the kind of girl any girl would be proud to take home to mama. Really? I'm telling you. Then take her to mama and stop living in fantasy world. Well, it's not like I don't want to take her to mama, but you see, I'm taking my time. What if the girl says no? <laughs> Robert, what if the girl says no? Listen, Robert, you won't be the first guy a girl tells no. Neither will she be the last girl to tell a guy no. It's like that. I know, man, but you see, see, you me, man. In this game of love, there are no bots. It's for real, man. Follow your heart, take your chance. It's like that, man. Love, there are no bots. And I'm sure they're, they're damn right. I feel like putting a bullet through that guy's brain, man. He stole the car. Who knows? It's possible, man. Because why the kid go to shack and wear one jam person like imagine. this now? For a second? I believe a second just passed. I have to see my HUD. Hello? I swear, I'm not lying, I swear. Joy, are you sure? And the guy gave you 20k. Nothing happened now. The guy, you know, sabi function, that kind of thing. Ah. You slept like a log of wood all through the night. Joy runs big. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's wrong. But you guys, you know now, some days are better than yesterday. And last night was one of the best, I guess. Uh, sure. You guys know how it is to when you get money. I'm sorry, okay. You know what I know? Hi, ladies. Um, you mind if I join you on your table? Sure, yeah, right there. Uh, well, I've never seen such beautiful faces on campus before. Oh, please, please. 
You know the beauties on campus. Just tell us you're joking. Come on, I know exactly what I mean when I talk about beautiful faces. <clears throat> Hello? Don't you talk? Not when I'm eating. I'm sorry, please uh, pardon me for my back table manners. <clears throat> well, my name is Robert. And uh, what's yours? <laughs> what about your roommate? Oh, she went home for the weekend. Hey, yeah, I noticed. I've not been seeing her. Yeah. Um, I didn't quite get your name last time. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, back manners. Michelle, philosophy 200 level. I'm Cindy. Economics 200 level. Whoa, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not because I don't talk to you, doesn't mean I don't have my ears in the ground. I'm still, you know, up. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, I need to rest because you know I've had a really hard day. You take care of yourself. Okay then. Yeah. Alright then. God, she said I could have it. Oh god. I almost tricked her when she said I can have it for the next session. <gasps> can you imagine it? Postgraduate hostel. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you. I wish I too could get a place like that so I can leave this off-campus place in town, eh? Oh, yeah. We are so lucky. And they don't allow more than one person in the room. But all the same, I'll talk to my cousin. Maybe she might have a friend that has a space or something. Please, my sister, I beg. I need them. I go try, Sha. After a while, we friends when we can't help one another. Exactly. Look at I'm so happy. Michelle, my novel. That girl. I have to go lay my novel before Michelle. That girl. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, go! I'm Mind if I sit with you? I don't recall the university authorities charging for seats. So what's up? Excuse me? How are you? Listen here, young man. I don't know why you keep stalking me, but whatever it is, I am not interested. I mean. You should try and loosen up a bit, okay? Getting cranky has never done anybody any good before. It's my business how I feel and not yours. Of course I know and that's why I'm advising you. If you continue this way, you're going to end up losing a lot of good things that are about to come your way. And what's that supposed to mean? Is that an insult? No, just an advice. Take care, Miss Cranky. I don't get it, I'm not interested. Why don't you give Jeep Money the opportunity? Come into my life so that I can elevate your life. Yeah, Excuse right. me? Hey, hey, come on, damn cell. Jeep Money wants to see. Okay. I 
seen. What is this? Animal's day off or something? Do I look to you the kind of girl that will go out with a guy like that? Please. Hey, come back here! Don't give a fuck with that! Come on, come on, chill. You need a minute. You need a minute. Come on, come on, man. Check out! Fuck you, man! Hey, relax now. Come on, man. Come on. Stop the chicken. Too many, man. Just a mere chicken. Come on, it's okay. Take your chance. Cool. Okay? Hey, your dredge. What? I want an eye on that loose chicken. Where she stays, who she hangs out with, who her boyfriend is. Everything, I want to know everything. No, G, relax, man. You know me, I'm dreads, man. I'm a bad boy. I'm going to scheme and brood all the plans. We're going to track that girl down. Man, what does she think she is, man? Relax. I'm sweating, man. Yeah, nigga, let's Come on. get out here. Yeah, Come on, man. Tea let's get out. Tea burning. Hey, let's go, man. Come on, y'all. Hi, Cindy. Oh, hello, Michelle. Sure. What's up? It's nice to Same here. You look very good and you're in a good mood. I am so happy. I've got the latest just in town. The loveliest just in town. Are you going to share with me? Definitely. And anyway, why are you staying in the next section? Same old place, so what can I do for you? Do you know you can send me some stuff to speak with what? You must be joking, I am not. A friend of mine will be graduating by the end of this session mm -hmm. and has told me to take up the place if I want, that's if I can afford. You know, I can pay for it alone, so... Please, I am interested. <laughs> ah, I am interested. You know, it will save me having to go to classroom, to go and study yeah, at night, yeah, so quiet and this time. Oh, and you know what, it's just for, it's meant for big boys and big girls. Oh, my dear. Why not? I want to let you know that's why I came to tell you. Meanwhile, I saw Lucy the other she told me about the PG thing where she'll be staying next yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, is trying to it's not easy, it's really not easy. Yeah. But anyway, we have to pay for this place by the last How much is it? 150. So that's 60 pounds. Yeah, 60 pounds. I could get my, my own next week. Yeah, for me, there's no problem. All I have to do is go home this weekend. In fact, I have to call my brother because he's in London, so I can just send the money to me. Mm. Just like that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, wait, but seriously, don't tell anyone. I won't. Come on. Uh, am I not the one telling you? For goodness sake, so how will I go and tell somebody else? I'm just being doubly <laughs> sure, you know. <laughs> no, no, I won't tell anybody. Yes. But anyway, it's be so nice having you as a roommate. And you too. <laughs> And that was how Michelle and I also started getting close. In fact, too close, I dare say. And this made me more distant from my other friends. It became worse when we started living as roommates at the senior staff quarters. Oh, you're absolutely ages. No, whoa. Looking good. Girlfriend, what's up with you? I do. No one sees you around these days. Mm. It's what SSQ has done to friends. How can you say that? Ah. I've been so busy. Uh, right. Honestly. I've been around for a while myself, so you know. You? Yeah, I just came in from Abuja this morning. Joy. <laughs> when are you going to stop these, your Ah, oh, oh, please. Ah, when life gets better, girlfriend. You know now. <laughs> What are you doing right now? I've got a lecture to about now. So, now? Yeah. So oh, I'll right, see you later. Don't yeah? worry. Now. So um, yeah. I'll come. I'll come this time. Okay. Bye. 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 Joy. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm even lucky. No, no. no, no. Sorry, it was my fault. I wasn't looking. Okay, it was my fault. I was reading and walking. I shouldn't have been doing that. Oh, come on, a beautiful girl like you shouldn't be apologized. Well, I'm going to have to apologize all the same. I'm very sorry. It's all right. I don't mind knowing your name. Uh, my name is Cindy. Cindy? Yes. I'm Robert. Pleasure to meet you. I'm so sorry. I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a lecture to get to. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, no! I really do love him, Michelle, honestly. 
nothing. You really amaze me, Cindy. In the beginning, you acted as if you hated him. Now you both are acting like Siamese twins. Well, you know what they say. It's the power of love. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I thought I hated him in the beginning, but I was only trying to protect myself. From what? Oh, come on. You're a girl now. You know what it is. I mean, I just didn't want to get hurt. And, I mean, Rob is a fine specimen of human being, you know? And any lady would want him. I just didn't want him to just come and behave somehow to me, but he hasn't done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't kulu. Sorry. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you are talking like a Shakespeare. You don't kulu. <laughs> I wish he was here to hear all these things you say. He would just melt. Well, <laughs> you don't know, have to. Uh. Because um, I already told him. You told him what, Cindy? Has it gotten to your brain like that? You told him what? You don't kolo shy, through through, you don't really kolo. What now? Ah, ah. Must you tell him? Why? Look, my mom used to tell me that we shouldn't, you know, tell men that we love them so much. If not, they just take us for granted. He'll start taking you for granted. Not my Robbie, because he loves me to bits. Well, well, actually, from what I've seen, he looks like someone that is very different from every other guy. He's down to earth. He doesn't allow his good looks get into his head. I thought I would you know, have a lot of opposition from girls and stuff, but nobody has even come up to me to say anything. Can you imagine? Serious, not even a call. Not even a phone call. I mean, sometimes he even gives me his phone to answer. I mean, it's that crazy, hmm. you know? Oh, he just turned out to be something I didn't expect. You're so lucky. But apart from that, eh? There we go. Have you guys? <laughs> Touch of money, the walls of Jericho, the one that never falls. Oh, oh, you're the walls of Jericho, the one that never falls. That's right. Mm, okay. Do you know me? I know you, man. There's a guy wearing a suit, man. I don't know you. When was the last time you attended the account lectures? Who are you driving? I attend my lectures, man. I know my lecturers, I know, I know everybody. I, I know my account lecturer, I know my Genesis 101 lecturer. I know everybody, man. I know everybody. Well, let me tell you something. I am the account lecturer. <coughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you must be joking, man. <laughs> oh, look at you now. Man, you changed. <laughs> look at you. You're fat now. <laughs> look at your tummy, man. You're fat. <laughs> let me tell you something. You have to see me in my office first thing tomorrow morning. If you want to graduate from this school, it's all right, you can hang around with your chickens. And you know, it's not gentlemanly enough for you to keep a lady hanging. First thing tomorrow morning, see me in my office. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. I see you, sir. Okay. I see you, sir. First thing. My red girl. I see you, I see you, sir. From the depth of my heart, 
heart. I love you. And I mean no harm. Look, Rob. I hold you in the most sensitive part of my heart. But it's just that... I, I'm scared of being hurt. Why? Because you've never had a boyfriend before? Yes. I, you see, I'm a virgin. Wondering. Wondering what? I've got a lot of work to do here. Where? On you, of course. <laughs> Bob, I don't want to lose you. And I don't want you to look at me like I'm some small girl or something. I'm ready to do anything you want. I promise. And that was how I became a woman. I wouldn't have wished for any other person but Robert to have done it. This made us even closer. And one day... Are you not ashamed of yourself? You call yourself a student and you have failed to register for my course. All you know how to do is follow your boyfriend all around the campus. It is not compulsory to graduate, in case you don't know. And to be honest with you, young lady, I am going to help you not to. Now I want you to get out of this class until you're ready to make yourself a student. Please. I say get out! Out. Get out! I was so funny. I don't want that nonsense. Man, let's get back to what will happen. I wish you were there to see how this stupid lecturer embarrassed her in class. God, I fell for her. Poor girl. The problem is that I don't even know where she is right now. Michelle said she hasn't seen her as well. And uh, her mobile phone is switched off. She's feeling bad and wants to be on her own. And that's Cindy for you. But that is no solution to the problem. Yeah, we know it's not a solution. Okay, what does you expect her to do? What? Yeah, she said something about waiting for her brother to send her some money through Western Union. Did she tell you? Really? Yeah. Maybe she went home. That's not possible. Her mother is presently out of the country. That's true. And there's nobody in her house as well. Where could she be? So you guys should just take it easy, okay? She'll be fine. I guess she just needs some time alone and that's all. I should be leaving you guys now. I have some time. Lucy, mm -hmm. take care. Right. Catch up with you later. Hey, hey, come on. She'll be fine, I promise. I feel so bad that I, I can't even help the poor girl out. I feel so terrible. I can't even I can't even be there for her in time of need. Hey, hey, please, please. It's not your fault, okay? Now check this out. It's not as if you have to even give. Now that's the problem. What? Not having. Embarrassing in front of the whole class. It's all right, it's okay. Oh God! It's all right. God! It's not okay. Oh, this is it's okay. Yeah? Yeah, come in. Oh, hello, Robert. Hi, Michelle. Robert, he humiliated me. He needed to have been there. It's 
okay. Lucy told me everything that happened. Yeah, come on, what the tears? I think I'll have to leave you tomorrow, right? I'll probably see you guys later. All right, then. Uh, oh, but you needed to have been there. It was terrible. And to think that all this happened just because my brother is now around. He told me to wait. Listen, it won't happen again, okay? I have the money here with me. Okay? Where did you get the money from? Tomorrow you just go ahead and pay. Robert, where did you get this from? Come on, Cindy, don't, don't bother yourself about that. Just know that I didn't steal it. But I can't take money from you. You barely have enough to manage yourself. Come on, Cindy. You're only going to end up hurting me if you reject this money. I brought it for you. Please take it. You know that your pain is my pain. Now, this information I gathered, you know, I was talking about the, the stuff G Money asked me at the time, you know, with the information I gathered, actually, I discovered that. She normally hangs out with a guy in the um, engineering department, the guy's in 400 level. And I heard he's the guy's girlfriend. Exactly. Fuck what you heard! Oh, that's what I heard. If I can have her, nobody can. What is your name? Whatever, that's G Money's problem, man. Hey, what's up? I'm hanging out with G. I was somewhere around campus. Peter was such a funny guy. Um, ah. I wish other girls um, had the same opinion. No. But um, they just see me as uh, a disabled, a kind of plow no one goes near. Peter, see, eh? You don't have to bother yourself about what people feel or think about you. Hmm? It's what you think about yourself that matters. Hmm? And I'm your friend. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I want to know who that guy is, what court he belongs to, and where he stays. I want to know everything. I want. Money. What is the meaning of all this? Nobody dresses my chickens. How many times he was chasing me? Besides, I'm not a woman. That's why you go wrong. That's why you are wrong. As long as you are my chicken, you remain my chicken. Even if I bust you. You are not serious, Jimoni. You are not serious. This is just a warning. Hey, come on, man. Don't forget to holler at us. You know Oh, okay, okay, okay. Keep it sure. Keep it sure. 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 You know, I told you guys I was going for Abuja for the weekend. As usual. As usual. As usual. Uh -huh. So I was in Abuja, right? Uh -huh. And I was in this upscale club I just discovered, right? Typical. You know, just hanging out, you know, looking out for prey, you know. Prey. Prey. Then up comes this guy, you know, you know, all confident and all. He comes up to me and tells me he's a banker. Woo! That's, that's an nice. impression. Cool. Banker. Ooh. You guys just chill. A banker uh -huh. in Abuja. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? We've got senators now. Hi girls. Hi T Y. Hey, right. What's up? Please. Where's your friend? Um, he actually sent me to you. Said I should give you this. Wow. <laughs> so what are we celebrating today? We're celebrating love. So um, I guess it's about you of telling Cindy how much he loves her. Oh, yeah, so sweet. Uh, you guys have to excuse me now. Um, I'll take my leave. Nine. 
for you girls really i mean i must say i'm so happy i've gotten what my heart has always desired let me say to your face girlfriend you are the luckiest girl in this amen family. to that yeah, boyfriend is just too much but all i want to say is please don't don't break his heart how can i i mean i love this guy so much he's like a like an ache in my heart oh, yeah. Yeah. But we all like. know that guys could be a jerk at times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this your boyfriend doesn't look like one at all. Yeah. Yeah. So decent. Exactly. Yeah. So decent. Do you know I'm not seeing you with any other girl? Yeah. Well, you guys are making my head big. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, what about me? I just get the best line. This, Robert, that what line? Just, just unwrap the gift. Ah! Exactly, unwrap the gift. Oh! Unwrap the gift. What's he has catching, catching my. Right? But it's not yours too. So, so unwrap the gift. gift. Oh, the see my flower. Just unwrap the gift. Can I have my biscuit, please? Ooh, you're so uh, uh, hey, you know you just want it. Don't wait up for me, because I think I'll sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come to think of it. I've been wanting to talk to you. Okay, what about? Nothing, just to talk to you like a sister, you know. Okay, I'm all ears. Cindy, I think you should try and privatize your affair with Rob. You know what I'm talking about, do you? Mm. I think you're letting too many people into your relationship, especially girls, into your affair with Rob. You know how some girls could be so slimy, you know? Don't you might think that the wish you were, but... I mean, is it Lucy or any of her friends? Are they making a move on Rob? It's just an advice. Be careful. Hmm. Hmm? Anyway, darling. Do you look nice. Oh, I do. Thank you. Anyway, I know you've got my back and you love me and everything, but I've got to go. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Have fun. Have Ciao. fun. All the best. Bye. Bye, guys. Do I know him? You won't show yourself. Do I know him? Oh, ah! I, 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 move! Move! Hey! Hey! Move! Hey! Move! Hey! Move! Hey! Move! Hey! Move! Let that girl alone! Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? It's nothing. It's just funny how fate decides for us to meet. Please, I'm very, very grateful. You're going home, right? Yes. Right. Let me take you home. My car is over there. Let me drive you home. So, spill the beans, come on. Here. Yeah. 
Wow, girl. Seems like you're in love. Haha. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's for you. You must be joking, right? Who's it from? From the least person I've ever expected. Is it from Rob? I need to just open it and check. Okay. Oh my god. Three perfumes. <laughs> Who's it from? Who's it from? What's the note? G-Money was here, right? Yes, are you surprised? anything to do with this guy. I mean, I'm just scared. I'm in my relationship with Rob, you know? Look, let me tell you something, Cindy. You don't need to tell Rob. Rob would never know. He will know. It's not my Rob. He will know. For goodness sake, how would you know? Okay, how did you get your address and why did you get it? Okay, you remember that night I got attacked by cult members? Um. He was the one that came in to save me and he brought me here and that's all. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, Michelle. Oh, oh dear. You should know me better than that. I'm not going to fall for the guy and come and become one of his chickens, as he calls them. No way. Then you should get ready for hide and seek. Oh. And meanwhile, oh, this is nice. Hey! Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. Tossing up and the latest. It is one for me, one no, no, for me. One, you can have all of it. I'm not even in Come on, it's your gift. No, you can have it. You're my best Why? friend, isn't it? Take it. It's your gift. I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, so people like kid. I'm not. Seriously. That guy, G Money, I don't want anything from There's him. There's nothing wrong with him. Okay. Uh, you will get on the road, I'll stop the chicken feed now. But you know, G Money, money is not everything. I can't find love and you know that. Money made your mommy to leave her daddy's home. To your daddy's home to have you. Because money talks. Well, fine. But you can start by enticing her. You know women fall for gifts. I can show her with money, with gifts. Which I know definitely that her boyfriend can't afford. What's my name? G Money. What's my motherfucking name? Money. All right. I'll twist her brains to the last part. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It shows what you're made of. Do your job. And I'll take you shopping along with her. At the bumper shop line house. Let's see you on the way back. To Michelle. Mm, he must be a very expensive one. Permission? I mean, what's all that? Do you know I was in Rob's arms when he called? You're trying to put me into trouble or what? Relax! Nothing spoiled. <laughs> Rob is still your love. But G Money, he's your meal ticket. And what do you mean by that? Very simple. Love Rob till death do you part. But G Money, call it cool, 
dough from him. This is a guy that spends and splashes money on girls. Huh? You know, he doesn't even have time. He doesn't even want to know if you have a boyfriend or not. He's not the jealous type. Michelle, I'm disappointed in you. How can you even think I would do a thing like that? A thing like what? Hey, Cindy. A thing like what? No, answer me. G Money doesn't want too much from you. Just be his friend and obtain money from him. But you know that the minute I obtain anything from that guy, I'm in. It depends on how you handle it. Look, I mean, I felt like sinking to the ground when Rob perceived that perfume on me. I mean, it was horrible. I had to lie to him and tell him that it was yours. Yeah, you know, come to think of it. You said this guy saved you from cult boys, right? Yes. And next, he sent you expensive perfumes. Yes, and? Girl, I think he loves you. Love? He loves me. So because he has money to spend, all of a sudden he loves me? Look, Cindy, I don't know what to tell you anymore, alright? I don't know, probably you're still a baby, but I think you need to grow. There are some guys who have it, but can't flaunt it. There are two different things, to have and to flaunt. But G-Money has it. Haven't you realized that he can get any girl he wants, but he's still after you? This is the son of a minister. He can have any girl of his desires. Think, baby, think. Do you want to lose this opportunity? Do you know how many girls are dying for this? Michelle, <gasps> at this point, you amaze me. I'm not even... <laughs> I don't believe this. You are so... Because it's a sort of a minister, then what? Jumping up and down. Please, I'm not impressed by all that stuff. I'm not I'm so hungry. What happened? I kept calling you. It must be a network problem. You know our GSM phones and the network failure? Yeah, but I mean, I sent you a text. You must have gotten a text. Text? I didn't get any text. I would have replied. Check your phone. Where's your phone? Oh, my phone. I I, I left it in the hostel. I'm, I'm charging it in my room. Hmm. And since when did you start lying to me? I can tell when you're lying, so don't even start, okay? All right, promise me you're not going to feel bad. I feel bad already, so you might as well start telling me. I'm listening. I just feel so bad, this guy using his phone over there. Is he? I had I had some problems today. What kind of problem? The GMI. The lecturer. I, I, I just had to. You sold your phone. Yes. Oh, my poor baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Okay. I'm so sorry, I didn't know how to tell you about it. I always tell you, I didn't know how you were going to. Hi girl! Hi 
me your things. That's nice. Why are you using yourself as an instrument of seduction just to get to me? Why? Excuse me? <laughs> Nobody is using anybody for seduction here. And moreover, I know you need the money to survive. Daddy, I don't need this money! If you need the money, why don't you go and sleep with him so you can have everything to yourself? Calm down for goodness sake! what's wrong with you? Why are you getting afraid of all little things? He means no harm. Okay. So when the chips are down, are you going to explain to Robert? Will you? Robert would understand. Apart from that, he's a student and I know he needs the money g money is giving to you. Robert is not like that. Uh, he never would do a thing yeah, like that. Yeah, right. It's better than the gist until the time comes. <gasps> Michelle? For your information, do you know Robert had to sell his phone just so that he'll be able to take care of his academic responsibilities? I mean, he could have come to me, but he didn't. And that's to tell you the type of man he is. And I will always love and respect him for that. Tell me something else. <gasps> well, girlfriend, if you don't want to hear anything, then never bring anything concerning G-Money near me. And I'm not joking. Michelle up to? Now she's always having money, new clothes, and jewelry. People say they see her with G-Money here and there. What is really happening? I guess he's bribing her to talk me into sleeping with him. Wait a minute. I must have been stupid. Why didn't I think of it? How did he know about us needing a phone and he came up with the phones the next morning to where I was eating? How dare you? How dare you touch me like you know me? Do, do you know who you are talking to? Of course I do. You're that swollen-headed guy who cannot keep his manhood in his pants. Isn't it? Now get out. I, the walls of Jericho, get out of your room. Yes, you heard me. Get out of my room before I do something nasty. And you're still standing there, you deaf. Nasty? <laughs> Cindy, what's wrong with you? It's you and this your money overdose friend here that something is wrong with. God, Michelle! Money can buy you, but it sure can't buy me. All right, all right, all right. Chicken heads. Every chicken has got his own day. I got to go. Yeah, you do that, turkey brain. <laughs> You've not seen the end. Oh, get out. Michelle, let this be the last time I am in any way connected with this guy. Because if he comes up again between me and you, this will be the end of our friendship. And I mean it. You don't really know who your real friends are. Because most often for you they might be there. How would you know if they really care? Because you trust them and believe in them. But in the end, your best friend could be your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Um, please, can I talk to you for a moment? What do you want to talk about? Uh, actually.
Richard, I wanted to apologize for what happened yesterday. I'm really sorry. I've not been able to sleep all night because I don't want to lose my best friend. Especially a friend like you. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, Michelle, come here. Sorry to really sorry, sorry. Sure. You're my best friend. It's okay. Anyway, guess what? What? Robert is planning a birthday party for Oh my god. god. That's so romantic. That's so sweet of you. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god. This early morning is that. <laughs> Who's that? That boy that needs a whipping. Let me just talk to him. Who is this? Nah, I don't have to talk to him. He's not doing much. Sure. Okay. Hello. Cindy is sleeping. Hmm? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even like. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is romantic, but he's not even here. Right. Look at him. Please, please, please. Mima, what am I going to wear? I don't know what I'm going to wear for my birthday. You better look good, girl, because it's going to be crazy. Is this kinky or what? Well, suit yourself. Anything you feel like, wear anything you wear is beautiful. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you so much, darling, for the party. I really appreciate it. Come on, love. I should be the one thanking you. At least for bringing so much sunshine to my life. <laughs> no, I should be the one saying thank you. Because you've given me so much more love than I ever thought possible. Same here. And you know what? What? Uh, since I'll be graduating at the end of this session, I want to show you just how much I appreciate the love you have for me. Okay. So, close your eyes. All right. I just hope you're not going to bring out something like a snake or something. No, I hate them. God! Rob! It's a sign of my undying love for me. Oh, I love you so much! Please! <laughs> Please! Oh, oh my friend! Oh, oh, my friend. Oh, oh, my Hello! Hello! Is anybody home? Whoa! That's loud. What's going on? Hey. Hello, Mommy. Mommy! Oh my God! I can't believe it's you. Mommy, you're looking as beautiful as ever. Thank you. Huh? What about me? What do you think? Uh, it looks like you've lost some weight. Well, why would I lose weight when you left me here for six weeks? I'm so sorry. Mm. You know your brother. Yeah. He wanted me to stay some little time. My brother? Yeah. Mom! Don't tell me my little sister is jealous of you being my first love. Ah! Oh. Brother Opera! <laughs> I can't believe it! No, no, why didn't you tell me you were coming together now? I didn't want to spawn the surprise. Oh my god, come back, please! <laughs> come back, please! So, how are you doing? Oh, no, I'm fine, I'm sick. <laughs> oh my god! Opera! Opera! <laughs> it's fantastic to see you! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But that's how you know you've been away too long. Mm -hmm. I tell you, four years is not a joke. No, it's That's why I wanted him to come home even if it's just for a day. Mommy, I'm at home now. Mm -hmm. Both of you can do whatever you want to do with me. <laughs> okay, good he said that. So I go first. We have so much to talk about, so much gist, everything. You mean it? Yes. They can cool. wait, baby. I got you some stuff. Oh, oh my God! Me, you're not easy. Oh, oh, you're not the whole house to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hello, 
just come in, the door is open. Hello, Sandy Hello, Micho. Ain't you supposed to be having lectures today? Uh, I feel like seeing before was a medication today. I just want to talk to a friend. Of course, you know you can always talk to me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. So, um, what can I offer you? Anything, as long as it's here. As long as you don't have to get it out there. Of course, I can always rush down to a shop and get you something. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm fine just sitting with you. But Mila, what are you reading? Um, GMS 101. Oh. I have a quiz by 4 p.m. Oh, I wish I could do that for you. No, do anything. Oh. I see. Anything? Yes. For me? Anything. Oh, that's interesting. So, um, have you heard from Cindy since she traveled? Yeah, she said she'd be staying for one week. Oh, that's true. Her mother's flight is actually for Thursday. She says she's going to be staying back till Sunday. Oh, so how are you going to cope? Cope with what? You know what I mean. Spare tire. Spare tire? What are you insinuating? That I should get a spare girlfriend or something? Come on, Michelle, listen. <laughs> I would never dream of doing that. Cindy doesn't have a spare boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy doesn't. What? What's so funny? <laughs> Look, let me tell you something, baby boy. This is the millennium. Remember, she's my roommate. Sweetheart. Where do you think she gets the money to buy all those perfumes and all those stuffs? Hmm? Think, baby, think. Honey, I cannot see any woman that is as beautiful as you since I set my eyes on you. So, all this has been happening and you never told me. Oh darling, I'm really sorry, alright? I didn't want to hurt you, that's why I kept it hidden to myself. How long has she been seeing this G-Money guy? For three months now. Baby, baby, come on. This is just exactly the same reason why I don't want to tell you. So I was like, let me just go to school. And let me come to school, there'll be something. Ha! And I went to our school. See, I walk out with boots. <laughs> you see where I was walking out? I just walked out with You see? You see, you have a problem now. I don't know. You wear slippers, JJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you are going to walk around school. I said, Paris. <laughs> but, uh, I really missed you. I 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 come back. I uh, you know, come back. Come yeah. back. Jesus, you just left me. Yeah, I saw him yesterday. He's alright. I haven't seen him today though. So this when I ask him Rob, I said I hope you haven't gone to see him before asking me all this question. If I had gone to see Rob, I wouldn't ask you for him, would I? <laughs> would I? Uh -huh, there you go. So what are we gonna do with ourselves today? Um, let me see, let's just go and chill out at our normal spots, you know. Mm. Yeah, the Okay then we can, we can call Rob. We can ask him to come home. Uh, look, we do even know the thing Rob. Men love surprises. Don't they just buy him something and take it as a surprise him? Men, they love surprises. Yeah. All you need to do is just buy him something and surprise him. Oh, that's, that's a good idea, you know. Yeah. Oh, I like to do that. It's been happening, girlfriend. Nothing much. But the G money is on us now. Oh, God, don't spoil my mood. I thought you want to talk about Robert. What's all this G money stuff anyway? You know, I cannot stand that guy. I mean, he's pompous. He's too rough for my liking. I, mean, I just can't stand him. Cindy, oh. fine. I know you're head over heels for Robert. But for goodness sake, I'm tired of answering questions. This guy is killing me. Jimon is pestering my every day. Where is Cindy? Where is Cindy? Where is Cindy? I'm tired. I can just tell him. So I find something to tell him. So you want me to date him simply because he's bugging you? I mean, come on. That's so I go, not like no, no, no. You want me to leave the man of my dreams, Robert, for that guy? No. Oh. That's not what I'm saying. Actually, what I mean is, you just, just tell him something. Let him just hear something from you. But I've told you, 
told you so many times. How come it's not coming to your head yet? I mean, you're really difficult, Tina. I'm not interested. It's all right, it's all right. I need to use it, all right? No, why don't you say it till tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I can see what you, how you like me. Uh, I love yeah? you. I love you. She's here. Yeah. All right now. Please hurry, okay? Bye bye. Hello? Yeah, hi, Richard. Hi. Yeah, hi, Robert. Yeah, hi. It's Michelle. Yeah. If you have the joint, the normal place where we have ice cream. Yes. Yeah, she's here. Yeah. So please, eh? I'll be waiting for you in five minutes. Be here in five minutes' time. Yes. All right, then. Please, I'm, I'm waiting, okay? All right, bye. You say your brother's going to stay in our chair? Um, actually, he says he's going to stay until next weekend. So soon? That's exactly what I told him, but he says he has to go for work and stuff. But frankly, I think he has some fun chick waiting for him. Yeah, okay. you know, Oh, guys, now. What up, girl? What are you doing here? Let's just say my heart was looking for it happy, so come on, girl. G money or whatever you call yourself, I will never date a guy like you. Not even my wildest dreams. So why don't you just stop harassing me? Harassment? Yes! You call my love harassment? <laughs> come on, girl. Oh, don't touch me! Well, girl, come on, let me tell you something. The G money, the words of Jericho, doesn't go about chasing girls. The girls, they chase me, you know why? I got what they want, I got money. From nice watches, nice cars, nice bitches and rings, you know? Come on, girl, I don't even see my love to you like it's not worth it. To hell with you. To hell with you and your bitches and everything that comes with it. I'm not interested, get Hell! But you didn't say to, to her to all my gifts. You didn't say to her to all my perfumes and clothes. You didn't say to her to all of that. Come on, girl. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me tell you something. You best all that your naughty dread bitch named Gabumba clap boyfriend that you are just running away your time with him. You know it, I know it. We all know it. Come on, I am the man. G Money is the man, baby. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's play games, girl. I take care of you. You take care of me with the crumbs. How was that? I think that's fair. How dare you? How dare you? You pig! Look, I'm out of here. Come on! Stop. Give money is the man, very humble. But you've done a good job. You know, your money, your money is at home waiting for you. You should stop taking it hard on yourself. Yeah? What did I do wrong? What did I do? Wrong? Yeah, yeah. We all know you didn't do anything wrong. After all, you tried your best. Why me? Why me? Look, Cindy, they say if you love someone, then let him go. And if he comes back to you, then you know he's yours. And if he doesn't come back to you, then you know he was never meant to be. But I thought Michelle was my friend. How can it be that my best friend took away my boyfriend? Maybe God just wants you to know that she's not your friend. Yeah, exactly. exactly. She have told you times without number that girl is poison. But I trusted her. Oh. I told her all my secrets. 
Only God knows how long she's been sleeping with Robert. Oh, that should not bother you right now, my dear. That should not bother you at all. Look, listen. If both of them could treat you this way, then neither of them deserve you. Am I right? Yeah. Neither of them. So don't sit here and wallow in self-pity. But I love him. Oh, my God. I love him. That was how I lost my love. My first ever true love. All because of a friend. I learned my lessons afterwards and promised myself not to ever keep girlfriends. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> uh, no problem. You have beautiful things. Yeah, no problem. I will do. Really enjoy They are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless. <laughs> You haven't changed my, a bit. My, my, you look so nice. Hey, thank you, my dear. Thank you. Ah, what's up? I'm good. I'm good in you. I'm fine. Cool. Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> um, it's my friend, Cindy. Oh, hello. Cindy, my fiance. Hi. Charles. Yes. Charles, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> congratulations. We get to my first week of next month. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> congratulations. Oh, I wish you all the best. <laughs> so, what are you up to? What do you do now? Um, I work at a bank now. Really? I work at Jewel Bank and I'm the marketing manager. Oh, that's so, so good. Yes, and you? I'm all with Red X Electronics anyway. Oh, okay. I'm the manager of sales. It's a Japanese company. Oh, that's good. Oh. You know what? Let me give you my card. All right. So, um, do give me a call all right. so we can hook up, you know? Welcome. All right, sweetie. Oh, Take God. care. Nice meeting you again. All right. And nice meeting you. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Flies. Hmm. I really never thought I would see her again. Not to talk of talking with her. Well, not after all she did to me way back. the sort of change that was to follow from this chance meeting of Michelle again, or was I? day we met. I could tell. I swear, look, I don't know why. I can't keep my emotions in check where you're concerned. Look, since that very first moment when I laid my eyes on you, I've been thinking of you day in and day out and... Come on, Charles. It's just an obsession. It will pass. You don't understand me, do you? Look, I don't even think of Michelle the way I think about you these days. I just had to come and look for you. I had to tell you because... But 
You're supposed to be getting married to her soon. What about that? Sunday, that's true. But I wish I'd met you first. I just want you, so. uh, This is strange. Yeah, not as strange, Sunday. Robert, I think you can't um, keep running away from home. You don't understand, Fred. That woman is making my whole life miserable. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in hellfire or something. <laughs> Look, I, I, I think that is the more reason why you have to face your fears. What are you talking about? I should divorce her or something? What, what are people going to say? Uh, After two years of marriage? Listen, Robert, just listen. Nobody is asking you to divorce her. But I think on the alternative, you have every right to decide if you want to keep living a life of hell or not. Just think about it. Okay? So, what exactly is it you want from me? She loves me. Look, I just want you. I need you in my life. But I can't love you. And even if I wanted to be in a relationship, well, it's not with someone who's about no, to be no, married. No, 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 no. You don't understand me. Look, I'll do absolutely anything for you. Look, I want something serious with you. So, if I was to tell you to call off your wedding to Michelle, what would you do? It's done. I'll call off the wedding. Sister. Uh, is this the time no more work has come back home? Why are you coming back home now? Can't you at least say welcome before you start nagging? Welcome? Welcome for what? I should tell you welcome for coming back from your girlfriend's house. What is wrong with you, Carol? It's you that something is wrong with. Oh, you think I don't know? You think I am blind, eh? You insult me. And I will insult you the more. You close at six. Look at the time now. Eleven o'clock. Where the hell are you coming from? No, come on. Don't push me. Now what will you do? What will you do? Beat me up? Try it and see. Try it. You best man. Nonsense. Good for nothing man. Oh, hold it there. When you marry your own, you can do whatever you want to do with him. Nonsense. Why is that good for nothing man? Nonsense. God, Cindy. Hey, money. Cindy, I've I've looked everywhere. I've gone around for six years. I've been looking for you just to say I am sorry. What? Cindy, please, you, you just have to forgive me for the wrongs I did to you in the past. No, 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 no. Jimon, please get up. You're, you're embarrassing me. Please get up. I'm not getting up until I hear you forgiving me, Cindy. Please, you have money, to forgive that was me. A long time ago, please. Just, just go. Cindy, I am so Cindy, I mean I am sorry, I mean it. I'm...
Baby, is there anything wrong? You've been so erratic these days. Is there anything that I've done? Nothing. I don't believe you. You snap at me nowadays and you treat me like I don't even exist. What's the problem? What is not the problem? What is not the problem, Michelle? Look, how can I not have food in this house? Where does all my money go? But I just told you that I bought rice and I'm trying to be fair to you. Rice! Rice! Rice is all we ever get to eat in this house. Look, can't you just learn to make something else? Eh? Do you want to kill me with rice? Do you want to kill me with rice? My love, it's not like that. But you never used to complain. Anyway, Michelle, let me tell you now. Welcome. I didn't hear you coming. I can imagine. So what are you battling with? Is this big? I don't know. It's just a little problem. So. Let me see. Brother, mm -hmm. please use your teeth. Just you want me to destroy it? No, just do it. Wait, 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 let me see. Oh. Let me try. Oh. Robert! What are you doing with my sister? I was just helping her with her beads. You were kissing my sister. I beg your no, pardon. Uh, no, sister. He was just helping me with the beads. Shut up! Oh. So it is not my sister, eh? Now listen, woman. You're pushing the rock too fast. You shut up! If you do not take your time, I'm going to do something that you will forever regret. Nonsense. No. I swear. So no one wants to see no, my husband, eh? No. You need to leech. Sister. It's not what you're thinking. Your own is finished in this house. Please, Auntie. Just you me out, though. sister. Uh, Auntie. Oh. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, God. How did you manage to find where I work? I saw the logo on your hand. What I don't understand is why you're telling me all this. Because I, I love you. Love? What do you know about love? I love to know that I love you. From way back from our school days, I've always loved you. And all those bravados, you know, hanging out with my friends, drinking, those big shots and big boots, all those things are, they are things of the past now. I'm a changed man now. And you expect me to believe that? Cindy, all I want is for you to give me a chance. But what about my friend, Michelle? Michelle, uh, the truth of the matter is, Michelle is not your friend. You know, you remember that day in the fast food joint, you, Michelle, Robert and I, you know, she orchestrated it. She planned it for, for all of us to meet there. She was collecting money from me to win your relationship with Robert. You see, that girl could kill you faster than a bullet. It's all right. I know. So where do we go from here? What do you want? See, all I'm asking for is a chance to show you that I love you, to prove to you that I'm a changed man. Can you see? I it's 11 days and nights to our wedding, and you're telling me everything is okay? No, Charles, 
everything is not okay. Sorry, what is the problem? You have to tell me, because all of a sudden I've turned into a stranger to you. Michelle, you know what I think? I think it's just your imagination. It's running wild, you know? Imagination? That's what you have to tell me. Now tell me something, Charles. Don't you love me anymore to marry me? Or are you seeing someone else? Crazy, honestly. Oh, at least, thank God they found the part at last. Okay. I had to go with them so they could fix it. Oh, good, good. But you've been gone for eight hours, and unfortunately, there's nothing to eat. You probably have to go to a fast food joint or something. Honestly, that's like the last thing on my list at the moment. Right now, I'm so hot and sticky. Like, can I like go take a shower or something? Uh, no, I don't think so. How do you mean? Look, Charles. I think at this point we have to define what exactly it is we have here. Cindy, you know I love you. You do. Charles, be a man, okay? Because until you call off your relationship with Michelle, I'm sorry, I don't think we have anything here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Beautiful as you. Oh, you flatter me too much. <laughs> oh, wow. You want more than go to me. Cindy? Yes. I want you to be my wife. Do you know what you're doing at all? This is what I've been meaning to say for a long time. Oh, please, Gerald, get up, get up. Not until I get an answer. Okay, at least let me think about it. Cindy, you don't need to think. Just say yes. Look, Gerald, please, just get up. And only God could imagine the shock I had that morning. I know I encouraged him, just to spite Michelle. But how could I possibly marry Charles? I mean, you said you loved me. You told me that you needed only me. Then what? Now listen, Mr. I don't care who you are or what you are. And I will not take you to be coming here to cause aspersions on my woman, OK? Aspersions? What aspersions? Because you said you'd marry me if I let go of Michelle. Charles! What are you doing here? Michelle. I believe Charles here developed uh, cold feet at the thought of marrying you. So he came here for me. What? Money. Hey, don't call me that. Let me get out. Michelle. I'm 
sure you're surprised to see your old-time associate here. Well, I guess that goes to show that nature has a funny way of paying people back in their own coin. But why? Why, you ask? Girlfriend, haven't you ever heard of what goes around comes around? <laughs> Please. And with that, I suggest you take your confused husband-to-be and yourself out of my house. The door is that way. Get out! That's the past. Let's leave our past behind and, and move ahead. That's a good idea. Leave the past behind. But that past includes you. What? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I just said. I can't go on with you, Gerald. I can't. Oh, Cindy, you don't talk like this to me. Come on. Look at me now, I'm a changed man. And I know you're a changed man. And I'm truly, truly happy for you. Because that means the next woman that comes into your life is going to have a wonderful man to be with. But not me. Oh, Cindy. I love you and I want to marry you. I want, I want to have kids with you, Kim. I know, Gerald. But I'm telling you that I can't. I loved Robert with all my heart. Truly, I did. But I've got to move on with my life. And I think everyone else should do the same. You know, why don't we just all start on a clean slate? Cindy, come on. We can claim the past. You can't do this to me now. Gerald, we are opposites. And the past will always be lurking around in the shadows. We don't need that. I want to move on with my life. Oh, God. Cindy. <laughs> This is more than a stab in the heart. It... You will live, Gerald. But you have to leave this place. Because I need time for myself. I need to be alone. Well, Cindy... Cindy, you can't do this to me now. I can. And I just did. Goodbye, Gerald. Because most of 